Got you now, Obelisk. There is no more running away from me. Why you lit? Hi everyone, I'm Laurencio, and in this video, I'm going to talk about all Asterix and Obelix games for the Sony PlayStation 2. Asterix and Obelix on PS2 received bad reviews, calling it the usual action adventure. And while this statement has some truth to it, I disagree. I had fun in the games. It's true that you do end up doing lots of platforming, and you have some you can call them classic beat'em up sections and classic puzzle sections though they have a unique feel to them but they aren't only that you also get moments when you, where you slide and moments when you do this so asterix and obelix kick buttocks called xxl in europe is awesome and i disagree that it's the classic standard action adventure in combat you can grab Romans, punch them, kick them, and with the R1 button you can send Dogmatics, the little dog, to bite and scare the Romans. You can even grab Romans and lasso them around, you can even get combo moves, Asterix can drink his potion which not only looks cool and speeds him up, but while he's on the potion he can triple jump. And by collecting laurels, you can unlock new costumes for Asterix and Obelix. And you don't switch from Asterix to Obelix when you want, but rather the game decides for you. For example, where there is a puzzle section where Obelix is needed, then the game switches from Asterix to Obelix. But throughout the game you'll, in you'll be controlling both Asterix and Obelix. Asterix and Obelix XXL2, the previous game, Kick Buttocks is called XXL1 in Europe, by the way, is another action adventure. Right from the start you can notice the improved graphics. In gameplay you don't get turret sections or sliding sections anymore, the game is mainly a series of beat'em up sections and puzzle sections, and you also get some boss battles. And the formula works, I mean the game is as fun as the other one. Also there are lots of video game references throughout the whole game. The usual humor of Asterix and Obelix is present too. The game is great, just like the other one. Also in this one, you can switch from Asterix to Obelix whenever you want. And Asterix and Obelix at the Olympics uses the same game formula of beat em up and puzzle sections in its core, but it adds upon that formula to create a more varied gameplay. Some novelties sound like fun at first, but aren't. Like for example here where you have to hit an enemy of the color of the music note shown on screen, just to open a door. It sounds fun, but it's tedious. In Rust it's nice that you get lots of mini games in the game. Overall, it's a great game. And overall all three games are fantastic. And it's not the nostalgia speaking here by the way. I didn't grow up with these games, I played them recently and enjoy them. So if you stumble upon these games, my recommendation is to try them out. Ok so this was the video, if you liked it please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button and choose one of the perks, you have the link to the join button in the description. Also you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord if you want. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.